what's going on there YouTube this is sick Eric back again with another video and today we're going to be doing a comparison between always on displays coming from the LG and Samsung devices now we're going to go ahead and see what they offer uh, which one might be better which might be the best um, etc so we're going to be jumping into it this is the LG V40 and this is the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus, now keep in mind the S9 Plus is running the Android Pie uh, Samsung UI beta, but it still has a lot of the same features as the Oreo version. If you guys want to see a comparison with the Oreo version of the Samsung Experience um, on top of that, comment down below and I can go ahead and do that for you. But for right now, we are doing LG uh, V40 running Android 8.1 Oreo against the Samsung Galaxy S9 running the Samsung UI over Android Pie. So let's go ahead and jump down into it. Now these are the always on displays that are on these devices. Uh, some may say LG does it better than Samsung. Some may say Samsung does it better than LG. But personally I like the customization features and the available toggles on the LG V40. If you swipe along in the bottom it gives you your music player so I begin, you got a whole bunch of different toggles to turn on your flashlight, turn on Bluetooth, take a picture if you want. It'll do a picture, which is pretty cool. And um, it'll do your toggles and give you your clock and your battery as well. And you also have your clock date and all your notifications that show up on here as well. Now this phone does not have an, uh, an uh, notification LED, so all your toggles you have to rely on all your notifications to show up on your always on display over here on Samsung it also does show your your um, notifications on here with some color icons which is a little bit of a difference between Oreo and Pi and to swipe on over to the side you could swipe between your music controller and your weather and some other widgets as well and you could also um, lower or brighten the uh, brightness on here at Manu manually and you could also have it do it automatically as well so let's go ahead and jump down into the uh, settings of the always on displays see if I can unlock my phone settings of the always on displays so we're gonna go ahead and go through display on the LG V40 and then we're gonna go to always on display over here on the Samsung we're gonna go ahead and go to display and then always on display and here you can find all your different settings uh, your modes like for home button and clock uh, the Samsung has a pressure sensitive home button that does show up on the always on display the LG V40 does not and you could also do auto brightness which I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on and you could also have the option just to do clock home button and clock or just the home button as well so you have a little bit more different options as far as what shows up on your screen uh, as far as display mode it does have a um, tap to show or show always which is new to the Android Pie you could also set it as a schedule and uh, as far as your always on your clock styles you do have different style clocks you click on the always on display and as you can see right here you have bunch of different types of clocks I think on the LG V40 you have a little bit more so let's go ahead and run through them on the Samsung you have your typical clock right here which is new to the Android Pie uh, you got your standard clock which um, is pretty standard on the Android Oreo as well you got your digital clocks you got a whole bunch of different types of clocks on here and then you also have your analog clocks for the always on display on the Samsung and then you could also set a GIF and your calendar, calendar to date. You could do uh, two different time zones, edge, and you could also set a picture if you wanted to on that. So we're going to go ahead and click done. Now over here on the LG side, let's go and get that out of the way and go home and go back to settings. So over here on the LG side, it does have options for quick tools and music player. You could turn that on and off. You can set a daily timeout to where it comes on and off 
on a schedule and you do you can make the uh, brightness um, a brighter display on here as well now as far as clocks go you do have a little bit more options here on the LG V40 so let's go ahead and run through all the different types of clocks now this is digital clocks you have a little smiley face on there that's crying I don't know what the hell that's doing but that's pretty new you also have your regular digital your uh, top on top hour minute at the bottom your date your your um, battery percentage another digital clock you have several different types of digital clocks on here that you could swipe through some of them are similar to Samsung some of them are not and you could also change the colors over here on your clocks now you can also do that on the Samsung device too you could also change the colors on everything as well let's go ahead and get a better clock on there so clock style you go ahead and swipe all the way over here we'll do a top on top you can also change the colors on here the LG is a little bit, bit more uh, brighter and you have a little bit more brighter darker colors to choose from on the LG the Samsung are all a little bit uh, washed out colors I guess to create a uh, that way it doesn't create burn-in but you do have the option to change colors on both of them as you can see right here so these are two types of clocks that are similar and you can see they show the time they show the date and they show the battery percentage almost perfectly identical with each other and you could change the colors as well uh, this one changes the colors for the entire always on display this only does the hour but it's still a little bit nice of an accent color so let's go ahead and go back on both of these and over here on LG you do have a lot more different options as far as your analog clocks now I really do like these analog clocks on the LG you have more options as far as customization on all your clocks as you can see right there uh, this one shows the uh, date the day your battery percentage and everything and these are really big clocks I really like these clocks this one shows everything as well your date the date and your battery percentage as long as with the uh, time and I really like this one it's very very clean look and like I said you could also change the colors on your clocks so we're gonna go ahead and go back and as far as over here too you can set a custom signature on here um, on your always on display for the LG you can customize the color as well and you can do the uh, text as far as what type of text you would like on there as well for your signature so that's another cool option and then you also have the option to put a picture in here and you could also do a gif or an emoji as you can see right here animate it and you can do that as well on the LG V40 now over here um, you got face widgets on the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus you can do today's schedule next alarm weather and music and what this allows you to do is uh, when you're scrolling through well, actually let's go back we got the uh, edge on over here so let's go ahead and change that to the regular clock done let's go and lock it so you double click it and you could swipe through a whole bunch of different events on here now on the LG you don't have to double click it you just swipe on over through the uh, through the uh, toggles if you want to get to them which is a little bit more better implementation I believe as far as quick access to your toggles and your music player and etc now the difference between these two are the notifications they are color on the Samsung but like I said that is the Android Pie version and over here on the LG they just show up as white but they are still very informative and they still are very intuitive over here you could click on it and it will unlock your device over here on the Samsung just because it's a kid so that's pretty cool on the LG you click on it it really won't take you to that icon so a little bit smarter over here on the Samsung device um, and that's pretty much it let's go ahead and see if we got any more different settings for the always on display uh, yeah that's pretty much it the LG over here does have double tap to awake your, dis your 
phone and over here on the Samsung you can double tap the home button to wake the device as well but um, as far as always on displays um, it's hard to say which one is better um, they both are really good in their own specific way personally I like the taco options and the music options over here on the LG but over here on the Samsung I like uh, when you're playing music it will show the uh, the uh, what's playing on here so that's a really really nice touch let's go ahead and see if we could get that going so say I go into uh, Google Play and I start playing something let's go ahead and hit pause that way we don't get no uh, blocks so when you're over here on the Samsung if you're playing something it should show what's playing on here let's see if we can get this going well, it will show what's playing on here on the Samsung. On the LG, it will not show. You have to sort of swipe on over to see exactly what you are playing, as you can see right here. But it does give you the option to swipe on over and just have it. And then it will come back to the uh, battery percentage on here when you're not using it. So those are the always on displays on the LG V40 and the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. Uh, Samsung versus LG as far as always on displays which one do you think is better which one do you like the most and um, personally I think they both have their strong points uh, the LG is a little bit more intuitive as far as your toggles go Samsung is a little bit more smarter as far as clicking on the icon and it taking you to that notification and they do have colored icons now with the Android Pie version so it's completely up to you. I just want to do a quick comparison on the always on displays between two different devices, uh, LG and the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. Uh, they are one of the two top companies that have implemented always on displays um, and they do really, really good jobs at doing so. So with that being said, guys, hope you enjoyed this video and found it uh, very useful and, you know, so... With that being said, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to click that notification bell for updates and subscribe, of course. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.